be making bases. What's going on YouTube, Be Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead, do me a favor, subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up on the video. Definitely gonna help out the channel, help other people get to check out the content. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump right in. What we're gonna be covering today is how to make trap melodies in Logic Pro 10 super fast and easy, okay? So check this out. First things first, we're gonna do is create a software instrument track. And since not everybody has Omnisphere, we're going to go ahead and use Alchemy. Once you got Alchemy pulled up, um, you're going to want to select some of the trap sounds, you know, and what's some of the trap sounds you might be asking? Well, bells, okay, are going to be like one big thing that you could use in trap sounds. Your leads, and I would say your pads. You know everything in, in your synths so those three those four things bells um leads pads and synths if you select any of those you should be able to start with a, a good trap melody so let's just try it with synths i'm gonna pull up musical musical typing by pushing command k so the key to this is just to find a sound that you feel like could easily be turned into some type of a repetitive melody. So like harps are good and then with um, with alchemy, I can always change the way it sings sound. So like as soon as you get inspired by a sound, then let's go ahead and use that one. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna go ahead and up this to like 130 on the BPM. We'll create a four bar loop and I'm actually just gonna draw this in. Now, I find that making trap melodies is pretty simple when you draw it in because you don't have to necessarily make your hands coordinate certain things. Um, you can just do it by like sounding it out, okay? So, and I always start with the key of C and you can always change the key later. So, my root note will be C to create notes. If you're you know, a beginner in Logic Pro 10, you just hold down Command and then left click. And as you can see here, we have our first note. Um, the first note created is a 16th note. Should be good, but if I can, I can always like, you know, extend it to make it longer or shorter. Just coming to the end and extending it like this. Um, but for a trap melody, what I'm gonna do, we'll keep the 16th notes and we'll just go every other 16th here. So we'll start off with this. And then you just want to sound out a note, the next next logical note that should be on there. And then from there, you just keep on doing that same process to sounding out the next note, logical note from there. And once you have like a basic small pattern going or short pattern going, you can just go ahead, hold down option and drag this to the right over here. And then we can just join this together by pushing command J after highlighting it. And now I have my super, super fast trap melody. And it sounds dope, but what we want to do now is just play around with the actual sound. So the melody is fine. Play around with the actual sound. I can come in here, play around with these little um, boxes. And 
And if it doesn't sound that dope, you can always go to a different sound. Cool thing about this too is you can come over here and actually add like a effect to this. So I can come over here to this Murder Melodies plugin, put that on here, come up with a whole nother sound. So I actually really like their presets. There's some, some dope stuff in here. Like they have these harmonizers here. So I can do like hyper pop. And that just listen to how that created a whole new sound. All right, cool. So like once you get what the, what you're looking for, the sound that you're looking for, I can even put like a vinyl plugin on here. Isotope has a free plugin called Vinyl that you can get. And then you can actually take this, since we're in Logic, we can take this um, pattern that we created and drag it over here to this gray area. And what that's going to do is allow you to create a quick sampler track using this sample. And you put it over here where it says original. You can go all these different ones. I would recommend going to quick sample original. We're just going to mute this out. And now I can put it on this follow tempo. And I can do some cool things. Pull up this musical typing by pushing Command K, and I can play it in different um, octaves now. We can even play it in reverse. Which I don't really like it in reverse, but. Then you just light this down. Come over here, double click on it. Quantize. And you can do like a higher pitch one. And if you don't like the actual um, octave that it's in, you can always change it. And then you can put together a quick um, drum pattern on top of this just to get, you know, a good vibe going here. Getting me like some 808s here. So we got a basic pattern here, quantize that as well. I'm going to put a little bit of a swing on it. Right click, trim note to end the following notes, force legato. You know the vibes, man. We'll save this. This is going to turn into a whole beat right here. And so now we have a whole beat started and everything's from scratch. So it's pretty dope. 
Um, there's other things we could do to this sample as well. Um, something that it's a little bit more of an advanced tip, but I'll go ahead and share it. You can go on down here and add um, this remix effect in under the multi effects. And what you could do is you could turn on latch and anything that you touch right here is now going to be recorded right here. And I can do some cool stuff like this. And then like say if you messed up for whatever reason, you always wanna make sure you turn off a latch after you're done. Turn that back to read. But if you messed up, you can just always just click this off and push A. And now like everything that you see that you just did in um, as far as automation is recorded right here. And so what you could do is come here and then you, everything you used is down here. And say if you wanna you know, mess with this tape stop effect, make sure it's like on point here. You move the nodes around. Go on to the next effect, Gator. Come over here, maybe go to this repeater. And you're just gonna make sure that it's all lined up like in good measurements of time, either in quarter notes, half notes, um, or 16th notes or 8th note increments. If you don't know about note length, you know what I'm saying, there's plenty of information out there on that. Matter of fact, if you don't know about note length, you need to go to my site, bemakingbasics.com, and you need to grab my beginner course on music production if you're, if you're confused about the concept concepts like that, you feel me? But, as you see, we have everything fixed, so now, now let's listen to it. And then what you could do here is instead of using this same one, the old one, we can just take this and drag it on over in here like so. And now this new one is going to have all the effects that we just created over here. But you get the point here and like after you finish like getting your loop together, what you could do is you can finalize it by pushing right clicking on it and doing bounce in place. And that what that's going to do is just create a, an audio version of the uh, loop you created and it makes it more um, finalized, if you will. And so now. All right, 
like that. So I just had to fix that. It was it was basically um, not in tune for whatever reason, based on where I put my put everything. So um, I had to fix that. But now that it's fixed, we're Gucci. There you go, man. That's pretty much going to be the tutorial for today. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure that you go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. We got courses there, brand new courses, courses on how to make beats in Logic Pro 10, courses on music theory, courses on just the basics of music production. We also have um, kits, okay? So we have a drum kit on there. We also got a melody kit on there, royalty-free sounds that you can use, all original, everything like that. And we have our 100K giveaway we're doing on our road to 100,000 subscribers, we're giving away some cool prizes at different milestones, all right, along the journey. So our first milestone is 10,000 subscribers. We're almost there. So what you wanna do to get enrolled and win is you wanna first be a subscriber, and second, go to bemakingbasics.com and grab the subscriber um, bundle pack, okay? It's only five bucks, comes with sounds, comes with a couple tutorials, and it doubles down as your entry into the 100K subscriber giveaway, okay? We're giving away prizes like headphones, chains, you know what I'm saying? Iced out chains at some point, you know what I'm saying? A full-fledged studio, um, uh, a computer, okay? Just so just basically depending on how, how fast our channel grows will be depending on how fast we give away these prizes, man. So make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe and go ahead and grab a course, a kit, or enter to win our 100k um, bundle giveaway along our journey to 100,000 subscribers. So thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Much love to y'all.